Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, everything within between. So, I just got done watching the whole Xbox uh, game showcase for Summer's Game Fest, right? And now, we're moving on to the Final Fantasy stuff. I went through and checked uh, the Tribeca one and the Gorilla Interactive one. Gorilla Interact, that's what it's called, right? Gorilla Collective, my bad. I think that's what it's called. Um, and for the most part, those are just like... You know a handful of like indie games here and there and uh usually just you know kind of i don't want to say rehash that sounds like kind of too harsh but you know kind of rehashing uh things we already known about so just you know reshowing them uh there are definitely some interesting games in both of those that i would say if you if you want to you can skim through those um those presentations and you know there's definitely like a handful of games that I saw that I really liked but overall it's not really worth watching this is the Final Fantasy 7 25th anniversary celebration live stream that they did yesterday and I did not watch live so you know luckily I was able to dodge every fucking thing possible because I just decided not to go on the internet that day for the most part so I have no idea what the fuck they showed um all I'm all I heard was that it was like 10 minutes long so I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna watch this and then we're gonna head over to the Capcom stuff and if I have time left I'll probably check the epic game stuff but I'm not sure if the epic game stuff will have a lot to show right and in terms of the PC gaming show I heard that it was just dog shit again this year so I'll probably not end up watching that unless they fucking, I don't know, showed Vampire the Masquerade 2 or something like that. But I highly doubt that game's been in limbo forever now. So I guess without further ado, let's get started, right? I mean, it's Final Fantasy. Uh, Final Fantasy 7 20. Oh, it's the fun. I thought it was just Final Fantasy. It's Final Fantasy 7 25th anniversary. Okay. Of course it's not the Final Fantasy. Final, fucking first Final Fantasy game was forever ago. Alright, well then, uh, well, I mean, let's get it out the way. I guess they're going to show part two, right? Either that or they're going to talk about Ever Crisis or some kind of movie bullshit fucking 4K version of fucking Avent Children. Let, let's get started. I think, I think this is where it starts. I think. I might be wrong on that. Yeah, I'm probably wrong on that. Let me let me check again. Actually, it does start here. Okay. Um I guess I'll just cut away to win it. Huh. I guess it just get Oh. Strife and an eco terrorist cell named Avalanche blow okay. That reactor is siphoning an energy called Mako from the planet and using it to power a sprawling industrial metropolis called Midgar. The group infiltrates. I, fucking, I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone and their mom has said this before, but fucking love Final Fantasy 7. By the way, I have my air conditioner on, so if you hear if you hear it in the background, I I apologize. I really do. Um, you know, it's just very hot see the harrowing consequences of your choices it asks you to question whether you're doing the right thing by what the fuck oh okay i guess they weren't ready i guess we got two minutes to wait for then huh i'm just messing with my audio right now um well I mean, I, I'll, I'll just wait the two minutes out. Like, again, I'm I'm looking forward to maybe them talking about Final Fantasy Part 2. I mean, I would say that's probably... Why, why else would they sit here and make a whole thing for the 25th anniversary? Uh, they'll probably talk about Ever Crisis, which is like the whole Final Fantasy VII story storyline uh, retelling on, like, mobile or whatever the fuck it is that they're doing. And maybe some like crossovers with games and stuff. Cloud, we'll get Cloud Strife and Fortnite finally, the thing that everybody wants. <laughs> now you can play as Cloud Strife and Fortnite. He can finally get revenge on Sephiroth the way he always wanted. 
Oh god. Maybe I don't want to wait out those two minutes. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll I'll guess I'll just cut away then when once it's ready. Fuck. Cause I don't wanna like move forward with it or anything like that. And like fuck it up. So I'll see you guys in a minute from now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Got a blast. What do we got? Rated T for teen. Gameplay footage captured on various platforms at various stages of development. Subject something something. Oh, uh, it's Aerith! She's better than Tifa. That's right, I went there. Avent Children, you remember that dog shit movie? <laughs> Where like, it was just about Cloud moping about... What the fuck is with the music? Why is it so bad? What the fuck is that? World Ends With You? What am I looking at? Oh no, that's um... Is that Crisis Core? No, that's Crisis Core. What the fuck was the other thing? Was that like just the Turks and shit? Oh no, it's Genesis. Dirge of Cerberus. Don't ever bring up fucking Durba Durberus, alright? Fuck, nobody cares. So bad. Look at it! It's so beautiful! Final Fantasy VII, 25th Anniversary Celebration. I really hope the audio isn't too loud. Because if it is, I'm, I'm not re-recording this, so I apologize. Wait, I'm sorry, why is it... What? <laughs> why is it doing it again? Oh, uh, alright. What the fuck? I never played the game with the Turks, I didn't even know that was a thing. I'll look, I'll look into that myself. Yeah, but why is it, uh... Huh. Do I need to go run over to the Square Enix channel and check it out there? That's Lucretia, right? Yeah, that's Lucretia up in the crystal. Look at it, it's so beautiful! Again! It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Yeah, celebrate the anniversary. There we go. I guess they had to restart it. Let us defy destiny together. Cloud, I want to suck your penis. I actually didn't finish, um... I didn't finish Yuffie's stuff. So, uh... Oh, I didn't even get that far. I didn't even know they fucking fought Scarlet. Okay. Yeah, I didn't finish Yuffie's stuff. Yo. Final Fantasy VII is so good. That was like the weirdest part of like the Yuffie- Oh, fucking this guy. Wait. They had more of that? Wait. Oh, now I gotta go and finish fucking Intergrade. Jesus. <sighs> Available on Steam June- Oh, they're gonna mod the shit out of that. Think of all the Yuffie mods. <laughs> Think of them. Hi, Yoshinori. Yoshinori, were you the one that fucked up the ending of uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake? Were you the one that added that Kingdom Hearts shit? Because I know everybody said Tetsuya Nomura did, did it, and I would I would like for it to be that way. But uh, I heard that Tetsuya Nomura actually wanted to keep it pretty uh, chill at the end. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. I guess the video got all fucked up. Alright, we're going on- we're going on the fucking- I'm gonna cut away. We're going on to the- We're going on to the goddamn, uh, uh, Square Enix one. We're- we're gonna see it through Square Enix stuff, because this is really fucked up.
All right, we're back uh, with the nice little cutaway. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go forward to to where the hell it stopped at because there we go. Had to like close my eyes getting here because they're like, look at all this Final Fantasy, stuff. and I'm like, no, I don't want to see it. All right. Executive producer, brand manager. Was it Yoshinori that fucked it up at the end? I'll have to check that again. Oh shit, it looks like the, the video is super loud. I don't want to make it too quiet, so I gotta like find a good balance. I'm gonna say that's good. I'm gonna say the audio should be good now. If it's too low, I'm sorry. If it's too high, I'm definitely sorry. Last year we released PS5 version and PC version. I played the PS5 version of Remake and Intergrid. Why put it on the Epic Game Store, dude? Yeah, please, put it on Steam. It's way easier to deal with. Like, you don't think that I want to fucking mod Final Fantasy VII? You know, I may... I may take... T Tifa's clothes on... Or off. I may... Take off Cloud's clothes. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe Barrett might get some action. Put some clothes on Red 13. Alright. Let me stop fucking around, though. Final Fantasy. Merchandise and music. You're gonna put the music on Spotify, aren't you? Available for pre-order is the digital clock. Dude, I gotta say, I fucking hate the Square Enix store because it's expensive as shit for no reason. Okay, we have stuff for Roach. Roach and the uh, Shinra, Shol uh, Sin Shinra Soldiers, God. Cloud with Materia and his Buster Sword, that's cool. New accessories coming soon. Some uh, material bangles. All right. They're probably gonna call, cost a hundred bucks each. That one's probably gonna cost fucking fifty-two dollars. A vinyl. Mm, God, I wish I had a vinyl player. I want to collect vinyls. I really do. I'm a hipster. Follow us on Final Fantasy Seven. Yay. That's such a great logo. How are they gonna do the fucking Gats thing, though? Prepare many ways to celebrate. Okay. Well, let's get to it. The mobile games are gonna talk about fucking First Soldier and hopefully Ever Crisis. The first soldier. I still haven't touched this, and I don't think I want to. Like I would, like I would give it a try if it was on console or something, right? But I fucking hate touch screens. I'm not gonna lie, so I, I'm just not gonna do it. Mechanis. Okay. Mechanis. Why'd I say it like that? Do you think that's how, um, Sid's gonna control? Like, they're definitely gonna make him a Mechanist, right? Mechanist, Mechanist, Mechanize? Like, he's gonna have to be, right? With a little bit of Dragoon on his side? Because that's basically what he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be a Dragoon. Season 3 underway. They're already on the third season? God, do enough people play this game? Maybe in Japan. Include subtitles in English and Japan only. Okay. Another possibility for a remake. Zack, embrace your dreams. Yeah, this is uh, Evergrade, yeah? Evercrisis? My bad, Evergrade. Why the, f why the fuck did I say that? Yeah, this has to be Evercrisis. It looks way better than fucking Final Fantasy XV Pocket Edition, I'll tell you that. 
Like, I think this is what people expected Final Fantasy VII Remake to actually look like. Right? When they... They were like, yeah, just had the chibi characters run around. You know, but then they were like, oh. God. I'm happy that I was able to play Final Fantasy VII as a child. <laughs> like... Oh, hello, Shiva. Ooh, we got some outfits. All right. Woo! Yes, queen. Aerith over Tifa any day. Our mission is to investigate an old Mako reactor. The one in Nefelheim. Dude, I'm gonna do a fucking Final Fantasy marathon one of these days. It's gonna happen. And you best believe Seven's gonna be front and center. I mean, can we just take a moment and realize that Sephiroth's and fucking Smash Bros? What the fuck? Ever crisis. Close beta test in 20. Oh shit, there's a beta for Ever Crisis? Are you kidding me? Yeah, but Everchrise is doing like the whole entire seven storyline, right? And I think they're going to be dropping it episodically. Like months apart. Part two! His legacy gave life. Oh my god. Get him, Zach. Get him, Zach. Get him, Zach. Kingdom Hearts players don't know nothing about this. Get him, Zach. Oh, they got the fucking slot system again. Yo, wait, so, wait, question, is part two just gonna be Zack's story? Yo! They brought the stupid fucking slot system back. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> My man, Andrew. <laughs> I cry every time. Soldier, first class. G gave birth to the man we know as Genesis. Genesis. Or should I say, Getsu. <laughs> Settle down. Zach the puppy. Uh. Shinra lapdogs. Shinra lapdogs. Okay, so what is this on? Is this like a quick game that they're throwing out? Like... Like, obviously, it's a Crisis Core remake, but it's not on the level of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Because there's none of, like, the graphic fidelity and shit like that. But it's definitely, like... Not quite. Woo! It's a church. By the way, what is your dream? To become first? My dream is to be with Aerith all day. To become a hero. Oh, good. Zack was my boyfriend. Ah! <laughs> See, that's 7 Remake right there. Or that's the fucking, uh, whatchamacallit. The FMV. Yo, the fight with fucking... Like, listen, you don't play Crisis Core. Let's be honest. You don't play Crisis Core. Reunion. Damn. You don't play Crisis Core to play a Zack story. You play Crisis Core to play the end of Zack's story. That's what you do. Available this winter. Okay, so it's a quick remake, but it's not like part two. All right. So it's not part two yet. So what's this? 
this one has to be part two. You can't tell people to play Crisis Core. I'm like fucking Crash Bandicoot right now. I'm just like, wow. Yo. What will become of the planet? Oh my fucking god. This is the road to Nefelheim. Yo. What's Sephiroth's endgame? What's happening? What are we doing? This is him telling the story. What's fact and what's fiction? I don't know. Where are you? Yo, but he made it out. But he made it out. <laughs> he made it out. Yo. I feel like I failed you. Yo, she's gonna meet Zack. She's gonna meet Zack. Oh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So that's what part two is called. Next winter, PS5. My heart, my ache and break it heart. <laughs> you can't put a man through this. It's too much to handle. I want to point out, though, that Final Fantasy VII Part Two has taken a longer dev time than fucking sixteen. Wait. So they're doing three parts. Yo! What? If you're doing three parts, then... Alright. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait the fucking... Hold up. If you're doing three... Because before, before we heard that they might do four or five parts. But now they're doing three parts. So if you're doing three parts... Then they're... Yo! Then they're gonna just do the whole the whole entirety of disc of disc two. They're gonna do the entirety of disc two, and then they're gonna do part three where disc three starts. That's just what they're doing. Let me pause that. What the fuck? At least that's the only thing I can think of. But if that's the case, like Final Fantasy, dude, they took part one and made it like a fucking eight hour, what, like a 13, 10, eight hour game. Right? They took three hours of the first game and made it like a full-fledged ass RPG. Now, if they're doing the same treatment, well, not the same treatment as in like making it longer, but the same treatment as in like, as in like giving, um, what's the word I'm looking for? As in like, uh, fuck. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't even say it. As in like, um, putting more detail into what the hell into what the hell the the crew does in Final Fantasy 7, right? Then it's going to be like it's going to be way longer, right? But this 2 is already pretty fucking long to be honest. And on top of that, it's like if they are going to make parts longer, then they're going to have to end up making some parts shorter or they might just cut parts entirely. And I don't think anybody wants anything to be cut from Final Fantasy 7, especially the remake, right? And even though, you know, even though it's, it's not remake anymore, it's a rebirth. Oh, fuck. Mm. Oh, there's so much I can talk about right now. There's so much I can talk I'm hitting my leg. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm hitting my own leg. Because I'm just, I, damn it. All right. All right. Okay. I got what I wanted. I got more than what I wanted, actually, to be honest. Holy shit. So, you know, Final Fantasy 7 Part 2, it's not that much of a surprise to me. I expected it, like I said. Crisis Core getting a straight up remake, even though it's called Reunion, so they'll probably... It's called Reunion, so they'll probably change the ending of that to coincide along with Final Fantasy 7 Remake, right? And how that ends, right? Dude. Mm, fuck. And Crisis... When, when is Crisis Core? That's this year? Crisis Core. Fucking God. Now, here's the thing. If they're going out their way to do Crisis Core, are they going to go out their way to do, like, a remake of Dirge? I hope not. 
I mean, I both hope so, but then I hope not. When is a... Uh, oh, fuck. That's Rebirth. Oh my god. Okay, when is this? This is available this winter. So this is this year coming to Nintendo Switch. Uh, both PlayStations, both Xbox and Steam. Steam out the gate? All right, cool. Hmm. Okay, now I also want to take a quick look. Is Was this all cinematic? Because I was, I was a little too hyper, to be honest. Because here's the thing that I'm both... Okay, this was all a cinematic thing besides, like, Cloud just walking with the Sephiroth. Um, here's the thing. I'm a little... What's the word I'm looking for? I'm a little uh, confused of how this is going to go. Because you have... Because you got Final Fantasy VII Remake being worked on. And, of course, I, I feel like it was being worked... Let's be honest. It was being worked on longer than uh, than uh, Final Fantasy Seventeen was worked on, probably. Um, but... At the same time, you have... Did I say 17? My bad, 16. Um, at the same time, you have 16 coming out, right? And the battle system for 16 is completely different. So now you're going to have that coming out. That comes out next year. Oh, my God, next year. Did they say next year? for? Yeah, 2023, I think, for 16. Dude, we're getting 16 in Remake Part 2 in the same fucking year. God damn it. <laughs> and before that, we're getting Crisis Score. Fuck. And who knows, they'll probably port over the, uh, the Pixel remasters. But, um, dude, fucking, like, I wonder how that's gonna affect the battle system for either this game or, um, part, or part, uh, part three, right? They may just not change it out of fear of making the game too different. Or, who knows, maybe a small skeleton team might have, uh, went and started on development for Final Fantasy part three. Dude, I just really hope they don't cut out anything from the game. I mean, that's the dream, right? To build on more on what the game originally was without cutting anything whatsoever. But they might have to. They might have to cut some things out. You know? Or just make things shorter than what they should be. Like the whole, uh, the whole climb up, like, the mountain and fucking everything that happens in the Shinra Manor. Right? And... And, I, like, and here's the other thing, like, they gave Yuffie, like, a big-ass, you know, they gave Yuffie a big-ass, uh, like, DLC, right? Oh, who knows, maybe they might do DLC for the rest of the, oh, I hope not, ugh, that would be bad, I highly doubt that they would do that, but, you know, they, they, they gave Yuffie a big-ass DLC, right, so I highly doubt that in the new, you know, in Rebirth that she won't be optional, like, you'll get her right away, um... I still have to finish integrating myself, so I'll see how that turns out. And along with that, since you're going to Shinra Mansion in this one, you're definitely going to be meet meeting up with Vincent. And then again, are they going to do the story of Dirge of Cerberus? Because now they showed that they're totally okay with fucking remaking Crisis Core. Fuck. Oh god, alright, whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> alright, so, you can obviously see how happy I am with this announcement, right? Um, so now, I'm gonna go, we're gonna cut away, we're gonna flip it over to Capcom, right? But, you know, tell me, tell me what you would like to see in Final Fantasy VII, right? What, what, or what your fucking favorite part was for Final Fantasy VII. God damn it. You know, or if you, or you just can't wait to fucking ignore hundreds of messages, uh, messages from Aerith in Crisis Core. <laughs> she, he's my boyfriend. Never answers her text. <laughs> Aerith, stop messaging me. I'm out here almost dying every two seconds. All right, but um, that's definitely that's definitely it for the Final Fantasy thing. If I talk more about it, I'm gonna be here for fucking a good minute. But yeah, let's flip it over to uh, Capcom. All right, we're at Capcom. Uh, usually I do some predictions, but I don't expect much, right? I mean, we heard a lot of things from Capcom, like the fighting game stuff, right? Resident Evil. Don't show me Phoenix Wright. Don't do that. Don't do that. You'll get my hopes up. You, better, you stop it, right? We'll definitely see some Monster Hunter and stuff like that. You know, I'm, I'm not expecting anything crazy. Where we'll share exciting new updates on our upcoming games. 
Let me increase the uh, volume for this. Again, I just want to point out that I have my air conditioners on, so if you if you hear it in the background and it annoys you, I apologize for that. Well, yeah, we're going in with some Monster Hunter right off the bat. So this is the expansion for uh for uh what you call it Monster Hunter Rise which I haven't played yet so I'm not sure if I want to grab the Switch version or the fucking Steam version. I know a lot of people are going to be like grab the Steam version it runs better, right? And I get it. But at the same time I might want to take it on the go with me. That was the handler's voice from World. Oh yeah, I forgot the big thing in here is that, uh, well, besides like the dogs and stuff, the big thing is that, um, instead of like grunts and shit, most of the, uh, most of the characters talk. That was like a thing they had in the world, right? Oh, there's a crab monster? Really? Ooh. Like I said, I haven't, like I said, I haven't played fucking Rise yet, so. Woo! It's looking nice, though. I'll tell you that for sure. Every time I see it, I'm like, yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's good old T-Rex boy. Oh. I was like, a, what the fuck is that? Like a turtle dragon? What is that thing? <laughs> that is a big boy. I know there's like a lot of mon Monster Hunter fanatics that are like, Man, you don't know the name of all these monsters? How dare you? <laughs> but you gotta realize, the first one I played was like Freedom Unite. And... I haven't played too many Monster Hunters, you know. First, let me introduce a returning locale. The jungle area that debuted in the second generation of Monster Hunter games is back in Sunbreak. You'll notice that the jungle's appearance changes over time. It's a nostalgic area that both veteran hunters and new players are sure to enjoy. And okay. We've updated the jungle with new elements and endemic life specifically for its return in Sunbreak. Longtime fans can look forward to exploring the devastated ruins around the coastal area. S penis. Monster Hunter Frontier. S penis. That's how you pronounce it. You mean penis? No, it's penis. Yeah, motherfucker gets hard real quick, I bet. With a name like that. Why are you calling them two faces when you're trying to kill them? That's fucked up. The flagship monster of Monster Hunter 4, Gore Magala, is back. Gore Magala is a sightless creature with black scales and sensitive wing membranes used to sense the presence of prey. See, I already, I already knew I was gonna, I already knew someone was gonna get fucking mad or whatever. <laughs> they were just gonna be like, they were just gonna be like, how do you not know the name of these monsters? My God. Yep, it's the flagship monster four. How did I not know? How dare me? Big crab boy. Monster Hunter definitely fills that urge of like wanting to play more fucking Shadow of the Colossus, that's for sure. How many boss fights do you want? I want all of them. 
How much space do you want to fight them? I want no space. <laughs> I want very little space. So are they going to do this like how they did, um, how they did, uh, what you call it? Uh, why can't I remember the goddamn name of the expansion for world? Icebreak, whatever. F it was an icebreak. That's for fucking certain. I can't remember the name of the expansion, but, uh, Iceborne. That's what it was called, right? Are they going to do it like how they did Iceborne where they're like, oh, just buy Iceborne and then you also get, uh, you also get a uh, Monster Hunter? Like, the base version of Rise? There's a demo for Rise. Demo for, for Sunbreak, my bad. Man, you got S Penis and Astalos up in here? That's crazy. <laughs> what if they fought each other? Who would win? Do you get it? It was a it was a sex joke. Oh, did they make the hunting horn easier for people to use? You gotta appreciate those hunting horn users. That's for sure. The demo supports multiplayer for up to four players, and there's no limit to the number of times you can attempt quests. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. That's better than fucking Nintendo's weird, like, you have ten tries left on this fucking demo. Like... Okay. So you will be able to enjoy all the added content. You need to complete the 7 plus hub quest, Surfing Goddess of Thunder. Alright, a free title day will be made available regardless whether you purchase it. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Following Sunbreak's release, we plan to release a number of free title updates. Ooh. Please enjoy this quick video preview of what's on the way. Free title updates. By title update, you mean like another expansion? No, my bad. My bad. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. By title update, they mean updates for that title. I'm sorry. Our first title update scheduled for August 2000. I'm not saying that name. We'll add Lucy that. Nargacuga. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm not saying that name. You already you already had your fun with fucking... With uh, Nair Higante or whatever the fuck his name was. <laughs> like... You, you guys just be waiting for people to fucking fall into a trap. Yeah, title update is, um... To be honest, I... Part of me wish that they just kept updating World, right? Instead of making, like, a new title. But at the same time... At the same time, you gotta appreciate, um... You gotta appreciate, uh, what you call it? Rise for all the new shit that they added. Especially the dogs, right? Palamuts, I think that's what they're called. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will be released worldwide on June 30th, 2022. Okay, so the end of this month. Digital pre-orders for Sunbreak are now available on both Nintendo Switch and Steam. Oh, that's adorable. I might, I might, I might pre-order it. I might. I mean, but if it's on Steam, you can just mod it in, right? That wraps up our news for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Thanks for tuning in and enjoy the rest of the Capcom Showcase. I will, thank you. As long as it's not as dog shit as the other one, as the other one you did last year. Because that Capcom bullshit they did last year was terrible. Street Fighter 6. Yeah! New character announcement. The next generation of Street let's do it. I mean, that whole roster got leaked anyways, but still, let's do it. Fan favorites Ryu and Chun-Li will be heating up the battle stage right Yo, Chun-Li looking fucking nice. Jamie's my boy. I'm definitely going to try and main Jamie. That's for fucking certain. Unleash unprecedented battles with the all-new battle system. Woo! 
Use some legs, girl. <laughs> yes, Chun Li. What awaits you in this game? Look forward to our next announcement later this year. That nasty ass uppercut. Yeah. Let's get more dark stalkers out here. Red Earth is fucking weird. Yeah, Red Earth is weird, dog. That's like a RPG fighting game. It's fucking weird. Ten of the best fighting games from the arcade era are included in one package. Look at that. Bring back Dark Stalkers. We need it. I want it. Or fight online against new challengers. Enjoy a full range of online matches. I need more Morgan in my life. That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I need. That's what my blood needs. I need it in my system. Just inject it. Inject more Morgan into me, please. I know everybody prefers Lilith. I don't care. I want Morgan. Inject it. Side arms. Street Fighter 1. Saturday Night Slam Masters. Magic Sword. Black Tiger. Black Tiger's alright. And more. Combined for a total of 32 arcade titles. Mega Man, the power battle. Alpha 2, Alpha 3, Street Fighter 2, Anniversary Edition. Mega Man 2. Mega Man 2 what? It said Mega Man 2 something. I don't think it's just straight up Mega Man 2. Akon's never coming back to Street Fighter. Sun Sun! I love Sun Sun. Comes out next month. All right. To celebrate, get the Capcom Arcade Stadium title, Street Fighter 2, The World Warrior. Free. The World Warriors will never get rid of them ever again. We learned our lesson from <laughs> from years ago. We fucked up with Street Fighter 3. Reveal a character. Reveal a character. Reveal a character. Reveal a character. Update on Capcom's new team-based action game, Exo Primal. And by Exo Primal, we mean not Dino Crisis. <laughs> Who's his character? Why does she look like Regina? Regina? Whatever. That includes lots of gameplay. Let's take a look. Exo Primal. It's not Dino Crisis. It's Exo Primal. Leviathan's a cool name. They said, you know what, guys? We looked at, uh, we looked at, uh, whatchamacallit. We looked at Anthem and we thought, you know what? We can do that better. But what if dinosaurs? Piki Toa? That's cool. That's a nice name. I like it. I'll fuck up some dinosaurs. My oh my god, look at how much. So many dinosaurs. These animals are riddled with errors and institutional bias. Your species is susceptible to That's right. Get on the floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. <laughs> you seek to evolve, yet you do not want to change. You tear down curtains, yet fear revelations. Energy taker. I love how it's just like, guys, we need these high-tech fucking weapon, weapon shit to just fuck up some dinosaurs. Just fuck them up. It's like, dude, didn't... <laughs> like, I know dinosaurs and cavemen never actually existed at the same time, but it's like, dude, didn't cavemen used to just beat them with rocks? It's like, no. <laughs> no, show them no mercy. Fuck them up. Nuke that dinosaur. Look at how many they are! Oh my god, it's so beautiful! It's so stupid! It's so dumb, because their animation aren't even going through! It's so fucking stupid! And the funny part about this is that I think the devs know that this looks stupid, and they don't care, they love it, because I love it. It's so fucking dumb looking! This supercomputer's just like, yo, fight these dinosaurs, man.
When is this coming out? There's gotta be a beta. I gotta fuck up some dinosaurs. 2023. They don't even animate correctly. There's too many of them. Fucking, yeah, that's the coolest shit. Now, I will get into more detail about the game. Developed by Ivius Corporation, Leviathan is a next-gen AI that guides players throughout Exoprimal via voice navigation and augmented reality displays. Isn't he also the asshole causing this shit? Players ...as a massive human-like figure, or as a surveillance drone called a Watcher. The trailer shows Leviathan unleashing hordes of dinosaurs. Players will battle these dinosaurs after being forced into Leviathan's infinitely repeating war games. Why is Leviathan bringing dinosaurs into our world? And why is Leviathan repeating these- Because dinosaurs are cool, and I'm- You know, Leviathan's a bro because he didn't put feathers on these little bastards. Don't put feathers on your dinosaurs. Provide a brief gameplay introduction. Exo Primal is a team-based action game. Yeah, I see that. In Dino Survival, two you got a healer, a tank, and two DP DPSs. Directives and complete the mission before their rivals to win. These Wait, complete the mission before their rivals, so you're fighting against a different team? We just saw some in the latest trailer. There's dinosaur cult. Where teams must eliminate a specific Yo, Anthem wishes it can do this shit. <laughs> For real. Grounded aircraft from dinosaur onslaughts. This is Mega Man just uh Mega Man, my bad. I want to say Iron Man fucking up all these dinosaurs. Destroy targets in Omega Charge with the power. Like just take a Hulk Buster to a fucking T-Rex skull. Teams compete to collect the most energy. You also saw a glimpse of a strange and terrifying creature known as a Neo Tyrannosaurus. While there are situations where you directly engage enemy players, there are other times where you band together with rivals to take down a major foe. This variety of missions will keep players on their toes. In Dino Survival, the missions change based on players' progression through the game. The experience will be different every time you play. Dude, I'm listening to like the music in the background of this and I like it. By playing Dino Survival, it's that good level of like both and also both like well, you know, cool ass video game music, but also like, also like triumphant, you know, like, like score. Like it gets you in the mood. Like I wouldn't be surprised if fucking lyrics start popping up through this song. Barrage is basically just Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider had sex with Iron Man and that's what we got. Railgun to snipe from long range. We have even more exosuits to share with you in the future. So look forward to Can we customize how they look though? That'd be pretty cool. One last announcement for today. Regina! 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 Where is she? Come on, Dino Crisis. Come on, you can't you can't have a dinosaur game without some crisis. To my Close network test to be held. Okay. Where do I register? We're conducting a closed network test for Exoprimal. Players will be able to try the game ahead of release. Of course. Do I gotta pre- I'll pre-order this shit. I'll do it. the game's online infrastructure and make improvements ahead of launch. I'll pre-order if I have to. I'll do it. Sign up to participate today. Today? All right. The closed network test will allow you to experience Dino Survival before the game's launch next year. We look forward to having you join in. I'm doing it right now. That's all for today. Exo Primal to release Exo Beta in 2023. Until then, keep an eye on our website and social media. Do I have to like make a sign in or some shit? Are you over 13 years old? Yes, I am. Next, we have a message about Dragon's Dogma, which recently celebrated its 10th anniversary. Oh, I gotta sign up for Capcom ID. Dragon's Dogma looking cool. Aren't they getting a fucking, uh... It didn't come out yet, did it? The uh, animated series? Game director at Capcom. A few weeks ago, we celebrated the 10th anniversary of Dragon's Dogma. I want to play Dragon's Dogma. I really do. I just, I just don't know how to go about it. 
ranging from games such as Dragon's Dogma and the Dark Arisen expansion to digital comics and a Netflix original animated series. In the coming days, we will be releasing a video celebrating 10 years of Dragon's Dogma, talking about how and what Dragon's Dogma came to be. Okay. So whether you're a longtime fan or just curious about the series, no, I'm curious. We'll have something for you to enjoy. We hope you check it out once again. Thank you all so much. And now we have a bunch of updates from the Resident Evil franchise. I love me some Resident Evil. That is for sure. Hello, everyone. I'm Suyoshi Kanda, the producer Hi, Suyoshi. of Evil Village. Thanks to all of our fans, Village has sold over 6 million units worldwide. Everyone on the team is incredibly happy to see so many people enjoy the game. I loved it. I did a stream of it. You can check my playthrough out on my channel if you want. You can also check the playthrough of Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 4. And Resident Evil 3. I should probably redo that Resident Evil 3 stream though, because I, I didn't like it. Let's start with this video. Oh shit, it's Rosemary. It's alright, right. right. my boy Ethan. We basically fought Sephiroth at the end of that game, so. Well, you can't because your mom decided to fuck a corpse, so now you're half corpse. You're half mushroom corpse, weird fungus girl. Leave now. Go while you can. Just like me. Oh, shit. What the hell is the Duke doing? What are you doing, Duke? Shadows of Rose. Oh shit. Okay, 8's getting DLC. New content coming to the Mercenaries. I played a little bit of Mercenaries mode. It was pretty cool. Oh, you can play as them? Holy shit. Oh, Lady Dimitres just fucking choke slamming people? Ethan returns in third person mode. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, I will totally replay this game. Holy shit. It has a VR mode, a third person mode. Oh my god, where the fuck was this when it came out? Gold edition. Fuck. All this is coming out in winter. Does anybody play reverse? Because I've been sitting on that game for months and I don't fucking, I don't know if anybody Sorry plays it. DLC for Resident Evil Village we promised last June. We think this new experience will be worth the wait. This DLC includes three major features. First, the third person mode. Of course. Many people asked for this, and we were able to add it into the game. Now, you'll be able to see Ethan as he desperately fights for survival. Players that have already experienced... The one thing I'm scared of is the, uh... Is the baby stuff. <laughs> right? I think that's the only time I truly was, like, terrified in that game. ...put on the exhilarating feeling of defeating relentless hordes of enemies. New stages are included, as well as additional playable characters, such as Chris Redfield and Heisenberg. Of course, Lady Dimitrescu will be there too. Lady Dimitrescu, yes, Big Mama D. Enjoy looking down on your foes from over nine feet above as Lady Dimitrescu slashes her enemies aside. Nine feet, just choke slamming them. The third edition is one you've surely been waiting for. An additional story, Shadows of Rose. Today, let me introduce just a bit of this story. 
Rose, the beloved daughter of the main protagonist, Ethan, is now a grown-up main character in this new story mode. In this sequel to the main story of Village, you can experience Rose's struggles with the terrifying powers she was born with. Who the hell is that guy? With the curse of her powers, she enters the consciousness of the Mega Mycete. Whoa, really? There, she meets a girl who looks just like her. I don't think you should. In this mysterious realm of consciousness, time and space is warped beyond recognition. Whenever I'm hearing of a girl that looks just like fucking Rose. Might be of assistance with removing her powers. Shadows of Rose is set completely in Okay, wait, so that's not the actual... <clears throat> you won't only face creatures. That's not the actual Duke. That's the memory of the Mega Seed of of the Duke. Enemy. How will Rose find freedom from her mysterious power? She won't. Maybe she can use the memory of the Mega Seed to bring Ethan back. Resident Evil Village Winter's expansion includes all three of these. Because I mean, Ethan was already dead to begin with. That was a major spoiler. I'm sorry. That was uncalled for. I'm sorry. I really am. I really am, but that, I mean, that's the, that's the point. October 28th, you should know this by now. Resident Evil RE Verse will also begin service on the same date, October 28th, 2022. We hope that you are looking forward to it. So it's not out yet, but it's, like that? but it's, st I still have it, so it's not active. We are working on making the main story of Village available on Mac. So that even more people can enjoy Resident Evil. In addition, the main story of Village is planned to be playable on PlayStation VR 2. We are working hard on bringing you the ultimate immersive experience worthy of next gen in Resident Evil Village. So look forward to future announcements. Up next, a game that was announced just a few days ago. Resident Evil 4 Remake Show it to me Show me some gameplay, I'll take it Listen to that nice, beautiful Spanish guitar That totally fits rural Europe the fucking like like the little clappy clams going on in there Sorry if I'm like really silent right now. I'm doing two things at once. I'm watching this and I'm fucking trying to log into a uh, beta access for Exoprimal. Looks hella nice. Jesus. Did they redesign Ada for the for the game? You will receive our most sacred body. It begins. Okay, it seems like they're changing the tone of RE4, right? It doesn't seem like it's going to be as campy as the original, which both kind of, which kind of sucks a little bit. If I could just forget what happened that night. The pain. Even for a second. This time it can be different. Woo! It has to. He looks older. He looks like a dream. Got that cool ass jacket going for him. Hi everyone, I'm Yasuhiro Anpo, director of Resident Evil 4. And I'm Yoshiaki Hirabayashi, producer of Resident Evil 4. This title is a reimagining of Resident Evil 4, based on the original... It's a reimagining, okay. I guess they don't want to be... ...preserving what makes the original title special. While updating it with modern flourishes for everyone to enjoy when it launches... One of them is Ada not wearing a dress. Today, we'll reintroduce a bit of the game's story. 
Resident Evil 4 is set six years after the events in Raccoon City, depicted in Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. God. I know a lot of people didn't like the remake for 3, but I liked it. It was alright. Woo! Europe, quote unquote. You might notice Leon is much more mature and fearless due to his past experience. Of course. I better be able to suplex a fucking zombie. The main enemies of this game. Wait for him. Ganados. The experience of being Curse me out in some fucking language I don't understand. Oh wait, that's not Ada? That's fucking Ashley? What? Did they age her up? Oh, I guess they didn't want Ashley to be like, kind of like, damsel in distress. I never had a problem with Ashley. I always liked Ashley. Leon arrives at a That's baby girl. It's basically what I call her throughout my whole entire playthrough <laughs> on Resident Evil 4. I'm just, come here. I got you, baby girl. Watch out. Go hide in that dumpster, baby girl. That's baby girl right there. Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 should find this familiar. Look forward to future announcements where we'll have more information on the game. Resident Evil 4 is being developed for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Series S, and PC. The release date will be March 24th, 2023. Alright. We are aiming to create a Resident Evil 4 that everyone can enjoy, so please look forward to it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome so much. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> what did you think about the latest information on Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil 4? I think it's fucking great. I love it. Currently in development. For those that can't wait for the release, check out the following games. All right, what are we doing with seven? Go tell Aunt Rhody that everybody's dead. What are you doing? You're selling it in like a, like a package or something? There's the one that everybody hates. <laughs> I don't hate it. I really don't. I want to say the only thing I probably hate is when you have to fight the hunters because they can fucking just one hit you, which sucks. Oh, they're all getting updated. Okay, cool. They're getting ported over. Which brought the series back to its survival horror roots. Yes, it did. Now you're calling them reimaginings? Okay. I guess they just don't want the backlash from three. Features including support for 4K, high frame rate, and ray tracing, as well as 3D audio for an even. I will play the shit out of RE2 again. I've been looking for an excuse to go back to that game. I basically got all the games right now. For PC users, an update patch will be available on the same date. For newcomers and veterans of survival, you just gave me an excuse to play these. Yeah. Welcome to the family, son. <laughs> Dude, I always love that. Welcome to the family, son. Really? Not a little Phoenix right? No, no, no little Phoenix right thing. Okay, all right, that's fine. That wraps up today's show. We hope you're as excited as we are about some of our upcoming games. Thank Still pretty short, but I will say overall, way better than um what the fuck they did last year.
you know, as I was watching this, I signed up for the beta for Axel Primal, so hopefully I get in, right? I want to fuck up some dinosaurs. Um, yeah, but way better. I definitely, at some point, I would love to just, I, I don't know what version of goddamn Monster Hunter I want to pick up, but it'll probably be the Steam version, maybe, right, for that mod support. But still, you know, I like to pick it up and try it at some point. I am a very busy guy. And I'm definitely going to be downloading those free upgrades for uh, Resident Evil. 100%. Definitely. Because it ran pretty good on my PS4. I have PS4 Pro. It ran pretty good on there. And I would love for it to run even better on PS5. So, thank you very much. I was not disappointed. Alright. So. Uh. I guess. Hmm. Well, I guess just for assurance, uh, insurance purposes, I guess I should do a, a fucking outro here just in case the epic game show, whatever, is garbage. So, bam. Right? If you guys, you know, first of all, we watched the Final Fantasy VII stuff. I'm still excited about that. Capcom, I'm excited about the stuff that they're doing, right? You know, I would love to go back and play Resident Evil 8, especially that third-person mode. Oh, man, because... I mean, first person was fine, but... Oh, dude, I really want to play that game in third person, like, really badly. Like, really, really badly. Like, just imagine looking at the areas in third... Like, it definitely adds a lot of different things. And it, it, takes, it takes some, you know, scariness away from it, too. I'll have to find out, uh... Well, may, maybe I'll be able to fight, uh, you know, withstand the whole baby thing. I'm never gonna fucking forget running through that goddamn area. And fucking, um... Resident Evil 8, holy shit. Like, I barely got to see the baby because I was dodging the fuck out of it. But, like, that one moment where I turned the corner, I was like, what the fuck is that? Ah! Right? I made it out. I escaped. I did it. It didn't get me. I was scared as fuck the whole entire time. But, um, yeah. I'm really excited to... I'm really excited to touch all this. And did everything that they announced... Besides, well, Exo Primal is coming out next year, but everything they announced is like you can play it this year, you know. So that's really nice and refreshing. But yep, that's it for both the Final Fantasy stuff and Capcom stuff. If you liked what you saw, if you if you enjoyed my little you know my little reactions, commentary, whatever, who cares? You know, if you enjoyed it or didn't, I guess. <laughs> Leave a like and a comment, right? Tell me what you're excited for, for both Capcom and Final Fantasy, right? And I guess if I don't need this outro, then I'll just cut off the video here, right? And then we'll, uh, we'll go, we'll go look at the Epic show or whatever. But, you know, just in case the Epic show sucks and I'm not going to waste my time wa watching it, I want to say thank you guys for watching, right? And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, before I forget, yeah, in the description below, link to my Twitch. Link to my Twitter if you care about that stuff. Currently, right now, we're playing uh, Phoenix Wright. Uh, not Phoenix. I keep calling it Phoenix Wright. Fuck. Great Ace Attorney, the first game in the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. So, you know, we're getting towards the end of that. So, if you want to check that out, head over to Twitch. Check it out. Follow me. It helps out a lot. You know, uh, leave a like, comment. That helps out a lot with the YouTube algorithm bullshit. And then, if you want to follow me on Twitter, that's in the description below as well. So, as always, I want to say thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. All right, so we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Epic did have a game show, but it was just basically a bunch of shit that was already announced, so there was really no reason watching that. So I thought, hey, you know what? I'll check those Sonic Central shit if you care uh, about Sonic stuff. Because um, I honestly haven't really had a chance to watch any of the new Sonic shit, and... I'm hearing, I heard that a lot of people weren't happy, so I'm not sure why, you know, so I'll, I'll, I'll look at it, right, you know, so let, let's do that, <laughs> let's do that, what do I expect to see, I expect to see Sonic, Sega, I love Sonic, I love Sonic, and Sonic loves me, we're friends, we're the best of friends, I gotta put the volume up on this. Okay. Takeshi? Why are you guys so fucking quiet?
April, we saw the... It's like echoing. What the hell is that about? Oh my god, it's like it's echoing itself. This is terrible. Okay, there they go. They muted the audit. Thank you. Alright, the Sonic Origins collection. Why is it so quiet? I'm kicking up the I'm kicking up the sound on it. I'm hoping it's not too loud, but it was like very quiet on my end. So this June is the well didn't the Origins collection come out? And then they fuck up the release on that because there's like different versions of it. Which is like really unnecessary. Who doesn't love Sonic? <laughs> I mean, a lot of people don't like Sonic, but I feel like most people that don't like Sonic just hate him because he is Sonic, right? They're like, Sonic is fucking lame. You're a loser if you like Sonic. And it's like, eh, I get it, you know? Like, it, to some extent, liking Sonic is like, sometimes it feels like it's the equivalent of liking My Little Pony, but you know, whatever. Sonic's cool. Did I just inadvertently shit on My Little Pony fans? Yes, I did. <laughs> Sorry. My bad. I didn't mean to do that intentionally. It just kind of came out. Oh, that looks like shit. Boss Rush? Okay. Where the hell- why is the quality, like, so bad? It's on- yeah, it's on 1080p. What the fuck? Okay. Sonic Origins. Everybody loves the blue blur. And Knuckles. I didn't say that for the meme, I just realized what the fuck I just said. I actually meant, like, I really do like Knuckles, he's one of my favorites. I always loved Knuckles. Celebrate Sonic Central in Sonic Speed Simulator on Roblox. Uh, what? Introducing Fucking excuse me? Eggman has kidnapped the Electric Chow and is using their life force to power up Metal Sonic. What the fuck is an Electric Chow? Sonic Central. Unlock Amy Chow using a designated What code. the fuck? Free the Electric Chow. You do realize most of the people watching this don't play Roblox, right? This summer, unlock special movie-themed characters from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Oh my god, please don't listen. The Sonic movie is fucking fantastic, right? Especially the second one. It's great. Shadow is joining the battle. This Halloween. And Mephilus! Oh! <laughs> no! Oh my god, Sir Percival, really? Holy shit. Alright, what the fuck? That's so dumb. <laughs> but, um... Wasn't that Sonic music in the background? Yeah, but, like, come on, guys. Like, I get that the Sonic movie's doing great and stuff like that, and kids love it. Don't, don't, like... Don't hone in too much on the whole kid aspect of it, please. We really don't need a bunch of Roblox bullshit. Don't stoop to that level. This is a preview for the fucking show, right? <laughs> Look at Shadow in his mean ass face. I will say the environment kind of looked like shit. Also, has Shadow ever been in Green Hill Zone? Next, please welcome the voice of Sonic. From the Sonic movie. That's not the voice the of Sonic. Yeah, thank you, thank you for Hedgehog saying from the Sonic movie. Don't just say the voice of Sonic. Don't do that. Let's go. Like I like I love his performance. Don't get me wrong, but but uh, I love his performance as Sonic. But you know, don't don't call him the voice of Sonic. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Great adventure for Sonic. This time with some new friends. Let's do this. Yeah. It is loaded. With a ton of great extras. Got the the voice of Sonics. Where did you put in the <laughs> Can you handle it? Hilarious bloopers. I'll buy it on Blu-ray. 
Sonic 2 is fucking fantastic, you know, except for the human parts. But Sonic, oh man. Which takes place right after the events of Sonic 2, voiced by yours truly, Ben Schwartz. So, do me a favor. Put down that chili dog and take a look. But. Right now, or soon. Chili dogs. Do not. But my chili dogs. Chili dogs. <laughs> Chili dogs! I love chili dogs. I, I, I unironically love chili dogs. Ew! Get it away from me! Go toe to toe with Dr. Eggman with the Eggmobile battle set. Destroy that meddlesome hedgehog. That's kind of cool, I guess. Straight from the games. Available this fall from Jack Specific. That's cool. Level up your gaming experience with this Sonic the Hedgehog. All right, I might buy that for my PC. Hello, Sonic. Available this summer. More art introduces beautiful new art. Handmade silk screen prints are a celebration of the Sonic. Silk screen prints. I would like the uh, like the metal um, templates. Introducing hype and Sonic the Hedgehog capsule collection. What? Featuring energetic designs inspired by the high octane speedster himself. Check out the upcoming collectibles. Okay. <laughs> First four figures, resin statues of that dude, that that clothesline looks like something I can just walk down like to Queens and head to Jamaica Ave and just fucking you know pick it up from like some bootleg ass shop. Okay, that's a controller holder. I thought that was Sonic just like air humping. Retro gaming enthusiasts and Sonic fans. I mean, I kind of have one of those already. I got the Sonic statue in the Mania collection, so I'm I'm pretty cool. From Japan is a special Sonic soft vinyl figure, standing six inches tall. I don't want a soft vinyl figure. I don't want a soft figure. I don't want that. I want a figure that withstands the elements. Stay tuned for the return of the Sonic the Hedgehog Symphony. Dude, I want to point out. Relive the magic of the Sonic 30th Anniversary Symphony Concert live. Okay, so, okay, they're just redoing it. Alright, I thought they were doing, like, another symphony. I'm like, what the fuck? But yeah, dude, I... Dude. Like, I remember one time... I forgot what I was doing, but I turned on... I put on the symphony in the background, and a part of me started to, like... Kind of, like, well up inside. Because I was like... I was like, this is really good. <laughs> I was like, this is really good, and I love the Sonic music. And it's just taking me... A down a trip of memory lane so if you have if you love sonic and you haven't had a chance to listen to the symphony please for fuck's sake go listen to it it's really great fall guys is going free to play on all platforms oh no i want to play as knuckles i might download fall guys again august 2022 i want to play as knuckles come play as knuckles sonic and tails basically giving you gone knuckles another life I want to be Knuckles. To celebrate Sonic Frontiers, we are excited to present a sneak peek of a new animated special. Really? Featuring Knuckles and taking place before the events of the game. Wait. We hope you enjoy this exclusive okay. look. All right. So Knuckles has a part to play in it. Don't tell me that's it. You can't. Just, all right. What's the? What the fuck was the point of showing that? Prior to the release of Sonic Frontiers. Exclusive gameplay reveal. All right. Isn't iGen doing like a whole month of Sonic Frontiers bullshit, anyways? Got some loop de loops. Oh, loop de loop is the enemy. Okay, that's kind of cool. Alright, that's cool. Ooh, he has like these air kicks, like these shockwave kicks that he can do. Okay. Hey, Sonic fans, want to see? Oh, I don't. Ooh. I might look at that. Frontiers is the IGN first cover story. You can watch the world exclusive gameplay reveal right now, as well as the first ever Nintendo with more My Kingdom. On the night of the wind. I'm sorry, they're playing Night of the Wind in the background. It's a great song. But yeah, that uh, that uh, 
environment in the background of Frontiers looks pretty rough. There's just like loop de loops and grind rails just fucking hovering in the air and shit. Is that it? Okay, I guess that's it. I guess I'll head over to IGN first real quick, right? All right, so we're here on the IGN first thing, right? For uh, the Sonic Combat stuff. There's like a bunch of videos for like a bunch of Sonic bullshit. One is like open world. The other one's like a boss fight thing or whatever. And the other one's just like general gameplay, I guess. I don't know. But uh, I, I don't want to sit here and look at every one of them, right? Because I don't think anyone's really here to watch too much of Sonic shit. So and I'm pretty sure there's like a million, million videos talking about this stuff already. But uh, we're going to take a quick look at this because they didn't show it in the Sonic Central bullshit. And we're going to look at the combat because that's usually... First continues on with yet another look at oh my Sonic god, I got to fucking lower this. Alright, there we go. Um, so... Let me move the mouse out the way. So... You know, combat, I'm not going to say it's the most important thing about Sonic. Usually it's the platforming. But I mean, from what from what I've seen, I think combat should be important in a title like this, depending on, you know, on how they're presenting it. Oh my fucking god, the environments look like shit. <laughs> Jesus. By the environments, my bad. Not the environments, but the platform layout. They're just floating in the fucking air. Like... This is some Sonic Boom level shit. Okay. Okay, so it's not just- What the fuck just happened? I was about to say, like, the homing attack, like, goes into a little bit of a combo, but then he, like, fucking teleport- What the fuck? That does not look good. That doesn't even look like it does enough damage. What the fuck? What is- <laughs> That doesn't look good. I mean, it's probably functional, but it, it doesn't look good. You know, the homing attack itself looked pretty fine, right? And then he just, like, does a aerial backflip somehow. He doesn't even have, like, a fucking standard animation for being in the air. He's kind of just, like, in his, in his, like, default stance when he's in the air. The little projectile kicks, that looks pretty cool. Okay. There's that weird frontier thing that they had in the trailers. See, that looks good to me. What's the point of having that thing, though? That looks fucking terrible. Uh. I also want to point something out that, I, that I'm kind of... First of all, is there even a life bar for this? I mean, if you're going to have this type of combat, I would assume there would be a life bar. But I guess you're just going with rings, which is kind of weird for, like, an open world game like this. And he's picking up, like, some sort of other currency or whatever. Energy chips or some bullshit. So, yeah, I want to say I'm getting a lot of... I hate, again, I hate to, like, just... Say like this bit that looks fucking garbage. I hate to say like this basic bitch like take or whatever I'm about to do, but it looks like he's uh it looks well it looks like the game is trying to be a breath of the wild type of deal, right? Like when you hear open world Sonic, that's cool. You you think of something like you think of something like Sonic Adventure 2 or whatever. My bad, not two, my bad. Two was an open world. You think of something like Sonic Adventure 1, right? DX, or whatever the hell. Where you can run around and, like, yeah, there wasn't that much, like, to do in the open world. But it was still open world, and it, it served its purpose of, of, like, a level select, right? You did a little bit of things here and there to get upgrades and stuff like that. Same thing with the... I hate to bring it up, but also, like, Sonic 06. Like, I know I personally like the game, but I'm fully aware that that game is fucking garbage. Um, but I just love it because I'm garbage. But like even the open world for Sonic World on uh for Sonic World, for Sonic uh 06, I'm not going to say it's the best cuz it's sure as fuck not, but it served the purpose that it needed to serve. It's just a glorified hub world, right? Sometimes you use your abilities to get to new areas that you needed to. Right? That's fine. And it's fine if they want to do an open world like this, but 
I feel like I feel like they're like, it's a Sonic game where you can explore and discover, and it's like, that's cool for something like Breath of the Wild, where, you know, you climb up shit, and, and like, you're basically taking a hike no matter where you go. But in Sonic, it's like, dude has super speed. He ain't got time to fucking check ev under every fucking rock, right? We wanna fucking run to your next destination, Get through your bullshit, stop Eggman or whatever the fuck threat you're going against, right? You want to fight enemies that can be enemies that can, like, kind of challenge you on your speed. You don't want, like, this puzzle shit that they're doing right here. Because I'm looking at this, and this is like a Zelda puzzle. Like, even this fight, it's like, who plays, so like, how do I say it? You don't need a Sonic game to be super fast to be fun. Right? But at the same time, who plays Sonic games to slowly fucking meander about? Like, that's one of the reasons why nobody... I mean, that's one of the plenty of reasons why nobody likes Sonic Boom. Right? Because it's like, it's a Sonic game where you just don't go fast most of the time. But in this game, we have this big-ass open world, and it's like, all we want to do is go fast. All we want to do is fight enemies that are fast just like us. Right? That's something that a lot of people loved in Sonic um, Generations. It wasn't just the fact that... It wasn't just the fact that, like, um... That, like, it was, a, it was like, a celebration of Sonic, and it was, like, you know, a rehash of, like, a bunch of older shit. It was, like, the boss fights and stuff. Each boss fight in that game had to deal with characters that were, like... Characters in situations where they kept up with the speed of what Sonic can do, right? You had that momentum going. It felt great. But here, you don't really get that. You just get this bullshit. <laughs> right? And he has, like... Like, I'm looking at him going through these fucking, like, red rings and shit. And it's like... If you hit the red rings, you kind of bounce off of them? What, what's the point of that, dude? Like, you go through the blue rings, you get a speed boost. But if you hit the red rings, you bounce off of it. But you're going a little too fast, so you're going to end up hitting the red rings by mistake anyways. Because you might not have enough time to react to it. Like, instead of doing that, why don't you just, like, I don't know, make an enemy that has a shit ton of grind rails on him. So you can ap approach him from different angles or something like that. That would make more sense. It's a fucking robot. Right? Like, I find it, I find it weird that when it comes to open-world high-speed bullshit, a game like Ratchet & Clank, fu uh, not Future Tools, my bad. A game like Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, that's not meant to be about, like, a uh, fuck, you know, it's not meant to be a game with a shit ton of momentum, right? Even though it is. Like, that's not its main point. But a game like that manages to do high-speed combat better than fucking Sonic. And there's barely any high-speed combat in that game at all. And this shit just fucking... Oh, God. The whole world is just fucking empty, too. Right? And then I'm listening to the fucking music that's playing in the background. And it's like, it's this it's this soft piano piece. Which isn't bad, but at the same time, it's like... When's the last time you played a Sonic game where the main music piece was, like, about ambiance? That's, that's not... That's not what, like... No matter how bad a Sonic game is, we can always fall back on how good the music is, right? But we got nothing here. <laughs> we got nothing, so... Hmm. There's a lot wrong with this picture. There's a lot wrong with it. Um... I guess we're getting another bad Sonic game. The last one we got was Forces. So, uh... Yikes. And I'm looking at this big fucking area. It doesn't even look as big as it should. What are we on, like, one small island? Peninsula or some bullshit? I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't know. It looks weird. But, uh... That's, uh... Sonic, uh... I was about to call it... I was about to call it Sonic Primal. I don't know why. That's Sonic Frontiers for you. At least the gameplay. Combat gameplay. I am... Not happy about it. Yikes. All right, so I guess there's like a maybe a handful of other things to check for uh, this summer gaming event bullshit. I'll see if <laughs> I'll see if um you know if there's anything else to check. I don't think so though. I don't think you know what. There's the Overwatch thing. I'll I'll do a quick look, skim through. 
Let's see if there's anything really important to look at. If not, then, you know, I guess this is the end, right? So, so if you have anything that you're excited for, right, from Summer Games Fest and stuff like that, please leave it in the comment below. You know, if you want to follow me on Twitch or Twitter, that's in the description below as well. If you can, please leave a like and a comment on the video. It helps out a lot with the algorithm and bullshit. So, there's that. And, yeah. Uh, Sonic, you disappoint me again. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. I'm a chef Don't take off.